and so off the tip, it's Boston. Brown outside. We've got a terrific low post matchup tonight, Doris. Two of the top big men in the league going head to head. Kevin, these are two teams that try to get their centers as many touches as possible. They are the axis upon which these offenses rotate, and how much the defense can guard that entry pass will be a key tonight. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves getting the first points of the ball game. And it's wide right, it's off the rim. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the team. And out of bounds is the Celtics game possession. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, Kevin. I spoke with the Celtics head coach a little bit ago. He told me defensively they have to stop dribble penetration, challenge the lobs at the basket, and generally make it difficult to get to the front of the rim. Don't want this to turn into a dunk fest because that will not end in their favor. Guys? Thank you, David. You better get out of the way. So much power from Anthony Edwards off that drive. Look out. Smart deciding where to go with it. Four on the clock. Tatum with another miss. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Now here's Towns. Pass to Reed. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. But Trey, no bear, no good. And Joe Horford will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Searching for their first points of the game. He's clobbered. He'll get three shots at the line. Personal foul. Boy, guys, what extraordinary growth from Jalen Brown over the course of his young career. Tighter handle, consistency from deep. This guy is serious about his craft, and it's paying dividends. And Jalen Brown is such a force on the offensive end. Hard to keep that guy out of the paint. Terrific finisher at the rim. Here's Edwards, driving in, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, Anthony Edwards has got a well-rounded offensive game. He can put it on the deck and draw contact, shows you right there. And maybe the only weakness for Brown is his handle on the ball. And it's something that he's worked on every offseason. Still, though, susceptible to turnovers while dribbling. That's one of the very few weaknesses in his game. Tatum no good. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. Incredible. He cannot buy a bucket right now. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. So it's Boston now, following the bucket by the Timberwolves. Pass to Tatum. That shot, no good. Gobert with the defensive effort. Here's Edwards. His shot is good, making a perfect two for two from the floor. Boy, the quickness off the dribble drive by Anthony Edwards. Being able to put it on the deck, so important. That's right, Orford. Gobert with the block. And here's Edwards. Five points in the game. Over in the corner, McDaniels. Here he goes. And finished off by McDaniel. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. They've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. And this is what the team wants JB to do. Punish defenses that don't respect him from the corner. Here's McDaniels. <laughs> Williams with the block. Right side, smart. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. 
out of bounds. Minnesota takes possession. And the Celtics making a change here. Brent Williams. Minnesota leading by seven. The Timberwolves secured a spot in the playoffs last season, Greg, and we enjoyed it after they got that emotional win in the play-in game in the Twin Cities over the Clippers. What a night. And Kevin, you can tell it meant a lot to the players. This is a team that has struggled for so long. And by getting to the playoffs, this is a step in the right direction. Edwards. And how about the impact Anthony Edwards has had? This guy's a real game changer on the floor. He scores it at a high clip, can play big inside and play big outside. Does everything on the floor with a passion, with a joy, and with a flair. Bruce Scala. Gobert with the block. Rudy Gobert, a consistent force on the defensive end. Oh, my goodness. Assisted. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. They have used their size and their strength to get off Minnesota. any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. First personal foul, second team foul. In the corner, it's Brogdon. Misses the three. And so Edwards will bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves to the paint. Here's Reed. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. And what a way to start this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've gotten. Here's White. Busted. No good that time either. Here's Reed, and he drops in the way up off the glass. Reed. It's impressive, the level of domination at both ends, and you're seeing the results. You know this. It's not easy building a lead on the road, but this team has been lights out throughout the game. Back to Brogdon. It's White on the wing. Williams trying to break free. White, good. You have to have a quick release in the catch-and-shoot game. Otherwise, you allow the defender to catch up. Derek White's like, no, sir, I'm putting this one home. Here's Edwards. One second left. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. Timberwolves lead by 12. The second quarter comes... 19. And here's nothing. You... And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. Let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for Minnesota. I, I like how they work the ball inside, getting closer in there, and that really helps your offense. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Just five to shoot. Tatum's shot is off. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. Pass to Reed. Stolen by Smart. Down low. Here's Tatum. The shot's good from making the play. I think Brown demonstrating he's got a great understanding of the game. He keeps his head moving, his eyes open, so he can spot the open man. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Thanks, guys. Now, Marcus Smart is not shy with his philosophy. He says it takes little talent to play defense, but a whole lot of want to. Get every 50-50 ball, take charges, be a great teammate, compete, never be okay with losing. Kevin, he has always walked the walk, too. He has. Defensive player of the year. He's a terrific player. No question about it. David, thank you. Yeah, this is a, an example of Al Horford's such a difficult cover. He's tall, he's long, and he utilizes all of that to his advantage. And even when the stats aren't there, 
Horford still just finds a way to have an impact on the game. Al is such a high IQ player, right, GA? He always puts himself in the Williams, right position. No He's an exceptional defender. He's cross-positionally able on the defensive end. He can space the floor as a three-point shooter. You can put him at the four or five spots. So valuable. Tatum's shot is off. Timberwolves leading by 13. To the inside. Towns. Anthony Towns. And Towns throws it down. Carl Anthony Towns, too big, too strong, too high off his feet. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. So the Timberwolves called their first time out. Minnesota. During his rookie year, Jason Tatum faced off with LeBron in the Eastern Conference Finals. GA, think about what a hard-fought series that was. It went the distance to seven games for Tatum. An incredible test and growing opportunity. To me, that's part of the preparation this guy has received to becoming that franchise player. So it's Towns with it. He brings it up for the Timberwolves. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. Well, just tremendous persistence from Carl Anthony Towns. Even under duress, the ability to stay focused. Back to Tatum. Three-pointer. Tatum with another miss. Minnesota leading by 17. Here's Towns. He lobs it up. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Boston ball. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. The three from Tatum. Drills it from outside. Tatum's at five now. Absolutely a threat. You've got to be on Tatum on the catch in three-point territory, or just like that, he will shoot lights out. And stolen by Tatum. The Celtics have come up with three misses and five attempts so far at the line. And just last season, they were at about 82% from the free throw line. So those numbers are always going to be positive. Celtics trail by 13. Tatum on the wing. He's got five. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. How about the confidence from this young gun? Jason Tatum's length is tough to deal with inside, guys. We know the league's cracking down on those dangerous plays that risk a player's health. Why was that less of a focus when you played? Uh, that's a great question. You know, I think it's smarter to approach the game this way. We, we don't want to have unnecessary injury because of guys maybe just taking it a little too far with the physicality. Boy, defense has no answer for Anthony Edwards' athleticism. What a dunk. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws. He's so big. Well, and after their offense stalled in the finals, the Celtics getting some veteran help. Gallinari and Brogdon both point range shooting, and Brogdon's another playmaker on the floor. What impresses me about Jason Tatum are his work habits, his commitment in the offseason to adding something else to his arsenal. We know he can play high-level basketball on both ends. The sky is the limit. And slam dunk by Tatum. And how high can you fly? I mean, he finishes that one with some pop. GA after getting loose in the lane with a scintillating move. The rebound by the Celtics. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Timberwolves leading by 10. 
inside. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Jump ball. Back to McDaniel. Plays it up off the glass. McDaniel. McDaniel's got four points this quarter. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. Switch here. 107 left in the second quarter. Pass to Williams. The kick out to Brown. Shot from the wing. And he knocks down the jump. Brown's got eight points. Well, at six foot seven, this is a forward Jalen Brown who handles it well, cuts his way right through the defense. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. To the middle. Here's Towns. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Well, strength and the ability and willingness to embrace, absorb, and finish through contact. Carl Anthony Towns. Pass to Tatum. Shoots over McDaniel. The kick out to Tatum. Four seconds left. Gobert with the block. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves. With a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. We'll take a quick break, and then back to the action here. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Here's Tatum. And too long on the shot. And here's Edwards. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. 17 points was their biggest margin. And here comes Brown, leading the fast break. Timberwolves. Don't you love how physical Jalen Brown is? This guy is not afraid to draw contact. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. 76% from the line a season ago. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Of course, one thing that stood out about the Timberwolves last season was their fast-paced play. No doubt, Kevin, and you can trace that directly to the head coaching position in Chris Finch. This is a group that loved to push the basketball up the floor, wanted to catch defenses before they had a chance to dig in in the half court. And remember, that is the classic mark of a youthful team, particularly one with the athleticism that Anthony Edwards brings. Towns, no luck. Celtics trail by 12. Looking to end his cold spell. And the layup good by Tatum. And that's 12 points for Jason Tatum. Well, you can see the level of aggression of Jason Tatum. sees a window of opportunity to drive it. He will expose it. And something you always hear about Jaden McDaniels doors is how effortless he makes the game look. Kev, when I watch this guy play, I feel like he glides through an NBA game. There's a finesse that you don't necessarily see from players his size. He's a handful on the low block. This young man is brimming with potential. Brown outside. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Takes a step back. McDaniels with the bounce pass. Edwards can't hit. They're looking to trim the deficit to single digits. Start with the ball. Now guarded by Towns. Brown outside. Outside Tatum. Just four to shoot. And they get it back to the paint. Stolen by McDaniels. Stolen by Smart. 
And here's Brown outside. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Minnesota leading by 11. Pass to McDaniels. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Smart. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. Yeah, the anticipation was there. The hustle was there. Very close to picking that one. Derek White. Towns down low. Ten points for him. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. Boy, the well-rounded offensive arsenal allows Cat to deliver consistently on the offensive end. And boy, he is in rhythm right now. Edwards drives in. And it's Towns missing. Celtics trail by 13. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And all you got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead. Well, they've absolutely dominated that category in this one, and it's reflected in the score. Here's Edwards. And right on through for another basket. He's got five made on five of nine shooting. Well, you can see Anthony Edwards trying to probe and create an opportunity to get off the triple drive, sees that window, and exploits it. Way to create just enough separation to get that shot to go. Well, to me, that's about skill overcoming size. And how about the fearlessness of the offensive end? Minnesota again turning it over. Boston ball. Now into the lineup for the Celtics. Mike Muscala. Here's White. A shot by Brogdon, wide open. It's Brogdon on the wing. Takes the three. Boston, no good that time either. Timberwolves leading by 13. Driving the lane. A shot by McDaniels, no good. Here's Boston now. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. And it's White missing. open look here's Towns the three and basket number six to his stat sheet he's now six for ten Carl Anthony Towns as a big man is a tremendously solid passer willing to move the basketball and now the Timberwolves on the break and the dunk by Towns and I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into easy points. Here's White. Three corners off the mark. Now the Timberwolves with it. Big stretch here going 10-2. Pass to McDaniels. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. First, and guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Timberwolves? The line I like the this throwback approach they're taking. Look at the score, high percentage shots in the paint. And so far, it's working. And one of the biggest stories of the summer was Rudy Gobert being traded. Gets a fresh start with the Timberwolves. Drills the three-pointer. Boy, it's so clear that Jason Tatum is comfortable shooting from just about anywhere. With the shot. The Celtics keep it going. A new 14-second shot clock. Here's the teardrop. And out of bounds as the Timberwolves gain possession. And so it's Towns with it. He brings it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. They led by as many as 18 points. Left side, Edwards. Pass to Reed. Back to Edwards. Five on the clock. Williams with the block. A main staple in Williams' game. That sixth sense for when to rise up and deter those shots. Now here's Brown. He's got ten. 
and the layup's good off the glass. Brown's got 12 points in the game. Oh, how about Jalen Brown showing us his touchdown? Oh, skilled at getting high percent shots in the paint. Oh, Anthony Edwards thinks this game is a dunk contest. Go ahead, young sir. What a finish. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Minnesota. The Timberwolves, 49. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Here's Brown. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Anthony Edwards. It's on Anthony Edwards. You have to have the ability to force the defense to commit one way or the other. Jalen Brown's aggressiveness does just that. Wow, wouldn't he have something in his eye on that shot? Maybe. <laughs> Edwards with it. Here's Towns. Pass to Edwards. And there's the foul. It's on Peyton Pritchard. That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Now into the lineup for the Celtics. Now in William. Edwards drawing the double team. Here's Gobert. And finished off by Gobert. Rudy Gobert emphatically finishes that one. Nicely done. Upside Brown. Counting. And when he gets in his head that he's going to get to the basket, very little you can do defensively. Pass to town. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Green slam dunk by Gobert. Assist goes to. Well, unselfish play by Anthony Edwards. Teammate is wide open. He puts it right where it needs to be. And the defense in that position. They will do a blocking foul, and he'll go to the line. Personal foul. And one thing that stands out about this Celtics unit is their defensive ability. They've got a lot of skill on that end of the floor. And, you know, he may finally be rounding into form after what's been a tough game for him at the line prior to this Celtics foul. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. The right defense. It's been terrific for him. This Boston team, G.A., certainly has a talent for holding back their opponent's shots and really defending well. And, Kevin, they put a lot of energy into pressuring shooters, making sure guys can't find easy looks. They don't want to give away anything for free. Upside Tatum. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Timberwolves leading by 14. Here's McDaniels. And it's sent back by Horford. Well, this is how Al Horford gets it done as a rim protector. His anticipation and his positioning are exceptional. And here's Tatum for three. After the strong first half, this guy has not been the same. And largely a no-show right here. Here's Towns. And he slams it down right on top of Robert Williams. Wow, the size and speed of Towns. A natural born highlight reel. Entertainment. Give a big round of applause for Celtics. Celtics trail by 16. Side Tatum shoots over McDaniel again. The miss by the Celtics. Fourth quarter of play, we're about two and a half minutes to it right now. Okay, two hands for safety. That's that's what they say, right? Now that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. Tatum draws the double, Minnesota, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Anthony Edwards. Third it's his third foul ball. of the game. Third and the ball. next one puts him in the bonus. The kick out to Tatum. Tatum draws the double. 
Down to five on the shot clock. Smart misses. And so Gobert will bring it up for the Timberwolves. Here's McDaniels. Pass to Towns. Good work defensively by Horford. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Well, you love Horford pounding the offensive glass. Extra possessions, so many opportunities for your team. Edwards. And no surprise here, right? This guy is not only a gifted player, but he is so smart on the offensive end. In the corner, Tatum with it. Horford double team. Smart, wide open, he fires. Hangs home the trifecta. Growing confidence in his jumper. Smart is rising and firing after the catch of the pass. Nice. Edwards with it. Out guarded by Smart. And here's Tatum for three. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Ball's not loose. Here's McDaniels. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And last year, Minnesota had a tough end to their season. In their 10th playoff appearance, they made their ninth first round exit. That one is no good. I don't think the Timberwolves' great plan on letting their playoff statistics discourage them at all. And that's kind of the beauty of this squad. They're out to make new franchise history, not focusing on the past, Boston just keep evolved. evolving as a team. That's a perfect example of why good hands are important in basketball. Just misread that pass completely. Let's it go with a three. Tatum, no good. And you know what? If you're the defense, you got him right where you want him. Let him keep shooting those threes because he's been brutal in this half. And hey guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for Minnesota. Their inside game was what secured them the win tonight. They had their way in the paint. And those are all high percentage shots. But the defense couldn't stop them from getting down low. And guys, one of the steady and outstanding players putting in another impressive performance. It was a big time outing for Carl Anthony Towns. Boy, forget about his stats for a second, right? What impressed me most was his stamina. It seemed like he was involved in every play. And with that kind of activity, I don't know how you don't wear down. Forty-three seconds left in the fourth quarter. And here is McDaniel. Over Horford. Whoops, there's the 24 second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Substitution on the court. We've got 33 seconds left in the game. Pass to Pritchard. And no good. And Minnesota now the other way. And they can just let the clock run out here. Cannot argue with the W. Jaden McDaniel. A nice shot by McDaniel. Spirited performance. You love to get this kind of win, especially on the road. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. Now oh, here's Edwards. And so it's the Timberwolves taking care of business here. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time of GA. This one went down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time.